what I've got set up here is a little bit different because I'm introducing artificial light. I've got some flashlights set up here, which are powered from this battery pack. And these are kind of like studio flashlights, but they have a much higher output than uh, normal sort of small flash guns. Uh, and I'm gonna shoot into the light so that my model is backlit, and I'm gonna underexpose the background. And I'm gonna do that intentionally because I'm gonna expose the model correctly with the flashlights. Now, on my camera here, I have a transmitter, and this transmitter sends a uh, radio signal to the receiver on the battery pack so that it triggers the lights for me at exactly the right moment. And to cut down the daylight, I'm using a neutral density filter to darken the uh, sky down, and I've also got a polarizing filter, uh, which will help saturate the colors and add a little bit of contrast in there as well for me. Now, our lighting setup, I'm using two large umbrellas, and it's quite windy here today, so we've got the assistants holding on to the, uh, the lighting stands here. Now, these are gonna give us a in-between light. We've looked at hard light, we've looked at soft light, but this is gonna give us somewhere in between because it's not a huge light source, but it's not a small light source either. And I'm gonna light down this side of the model and she's gonna be wearing a uh, bright yellow dress, which is gonna contrast nicely against the sky. Now, the key to this shot in the composition is the way that these stairs are gonna lead your eye into the shot. And then I've got these towers in the background and those are gonna add a compositional element to the picture. And I'm gonna use the sheens of light off the glass, the blue sky, the position of the model, and as I say, these leading lines of the stairs to draw your eye into the picture and, and keep your interest there. Now, we've gotta run some tests first to get the right amount of flashlight into our uh, main shot and to expose the model correctly. I've already run some tests on just the scene and got that at the correct exposure, underexposed. So as soon as the model's ready, I'm gonna get her in here and then we're gonna do some tests on, on her. And I've gotta get you in the right position with these buildings and these stairs and everything. So I'm gonna mess around with that first. And then once we're ready, but with this wind, it's good for me with the dress and the wind, but it might be good as well as if we add some motion of your arms going out or something. I don't know that you maybe just sort of turn and it looks like that you've just turned to look or something. So we'll see how that goes, but let's just bring you quite close to this edge here. Just come forward. No, no, stay on the top, but just that's it close to the edge there. Okay. Now that's looking really good. It's just a question of where we try to put you. So what I want to do, Ava, is just try you come closer to the edge. That's it. That's it, perfect. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. Excellent. All right, let me just check that. That's it, stop there. All right, wait there a second. Okay, right, now go back and then we're ready to go. Yep. Great. Perfect. Let's just see what we can do, just moving the body, even, even like you just did then where you, you took a step. Yeah, that's quite nice, because then the back of the dress is flowing out behind, you see, when you took the step. Uh, so you kind of just did a step forwards and then that moved, which was good. Hang on a second. Just do the step and then stop so I can see where, yeah, that's it. I just want to see where the focus point goes. That's it there. Okay, that's good, right, so let's do that. Good. That's good. Okay. Great work. Okay, that's it, well done, thank you very much. Right, you can have a break for a minute, and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do in a different position, okay, good stuff. <coughs> right, let's um, pack this stuff up, unfortunately, and then move on up there. 
Right. Okay, we did a series of pictures there. Worked out fantastically. Great light, used the fill-in flash. Composition worked really, really well, especially with these two tall buildings and these lines of steps. And then the model worked great there. We got her in the right position. Applied some of the rule of thirds, but not all of the rule of thirds, because as I said, we can break the rules. It's just whatever feels good once you get more experience with your photography. From a lighting point of view, flash in the daylight. Fantastic, it's the best time to use flash is in the daylight. And when you shoot into the light and you've got the shadow side, that's the side you fill in with flash and that's what looks like a really professional fashion shot.